647 on a beautiful start to your work week. No complaints here. Start to the beginning of a warm-up, though, huh, Rob? Yeah, we're right around the low 80s here this afternoon. That's right around where we should be for mid-May. But, yeah, as we head later and deeper into the work week, we're going to be chasing 90 heading into this weekend. Here's what we're seeing right now on the Wave 31 Air Care System Sky Camera Network. Some of these passing mostly high clouds. And these are actually coming off of what was once thunderstorms well off to our west. So we'll call it filtered sunshine here for this morning. On the Wave 31 Storm Tracker Early Warning Radar Network, a little bit more cloud cover as you head further off to the west and southwest. We put this in animation and zoom out a little bit. You'll notice that we do have showers off to our west, but these continue to decay and fall apart, likely not surviving anywhere close to the Alabama Mississippi state line. I'll keep an eye on them through the next few hours, but you'll notice again dry conditions with just some passing clouds. So filtered sunshine here this morning into this afternoon, but enough sun. They're still going to make it up to about the low 80s by 2, 3, 4 o'clock today. Again, right around the 30 year average. And we are also seeing enough sun breaking through the clouds that the UV or the burn time for today is right around 20 minutes. So the UV index right around the very high range. And you need to keep that in mind really heading through the next few months as we'll continue to see quite a bit of that here with the sun angle at the highest of the year. Pollen forecast for today. If you're also spending time outdoors, grass still in the very high range, but we're kind of wrapping up the pollen season for trees. So that's some good news. But if you're dealing with the grass and the pollen Unfortunately, not seeing a whole lot of rain to kind of wash that away through the next seven days. This is the rainfall forecast all the way through tomorrow evening. This is 10 o'clock tomorrow night, and we're seeing just basically a trace showing up. So not a whole lot of rainfall through the next couple of days. And tomorrow, that's the best chance for rain through the next seven days. You'll notice that if we let this run all the way through Saturday into Sunday of this upcoming weekend, this map doesn't change at all. And that's because we're just not expecting much more rainfall. Future radar and satellite, this is 8 o'clock this morning. Again, passing clouds, filtered sunshine into this afternoon. Afternoon. Through this evening, we're seeing maybe a sprinkle or two showing up. That's about it. So that's why I'm saying 10%. That may even be a little bit too high for rain chances today. Then by tomorrow morning, this is 8 o'clock for your Tuesday morning, seeing what's left of some remnant showers and storms that formed well off to the southwest, kind of just drifting through the area. So maybe a shower or two for your Tuesday morning commute. And that's really about it. Maybe a few pop-up showers all the way through tomorrow night. And again, tomorrow, that's the best chance for rain. Going with about a 20% chance for your Tuesday. Back down to a 10% for your Wednesday, and that's also when we make it up to about the mid-80s for your Wednesday and Thursday for afternoon highs. Then by Friday, could see a few spots making it up to 90. Better chances by Saturday and Sunday, and a lot of the data indicates that we could be closer to the mid-90s by Monday and Tuesday of next week. So we're just getting started with a very warm pattern here for North Alabama, especially for this time of the year. This is the temperature outlook once we head all the way through the next 10 days. So this is through Wednesday of next work week, and you'll notice this bullseye right here here in Charleston, West Virginia. That is the highest probabilities in the country for being above normal for temperatures. That is very close to North Alabama, so you can almost bank on it that we're going to be above normal through the next 10 days with that heat really setting up here in the southeast, and that's really going to block any rain chances really through the middle of next week. So keeping a close eye on drought conditions, we're doing okay at this point, but we could continue to see some dry conditions heading into summer.